My First Book of Tagalog Words by Liana Romulo, illustrated by Jaime Laurel. A is for Anak, which isn't my name, but that's what my mama calls me to say my child would be the same. B is for Butiki, a house lizard, that's all. It climbs on the ceiling from where it could fall. C is for Champorado, chocolate and rice porridge, believe it or not. I have it for breakfast, it's best when it's hot. D is for Dahon, leaves rustling coolly in the heat on trees in our garden, next to mangoes, heavy and sweet. E is for Ewan. That's what we say when we don't know the answer by the end of the day. F is for Filipino. That's what I am. I was born in the Philippines, and that's me in the pram. G is for Galing. Always so nice to hear. A word of praise or approval, it brings me good cheer. H is for Hati. A word mama uses at meals because it means to share half with my sister who squeals. I is for Ibon, a bird in the sky high up above, a cute little duckling or maybe a dove. J is for Jeepney, miniature buses plying the street. They're noisy and colorful and I think they're neat. K is for Kumut, my favorite blanket, warm in my bed. And then there's the pillow to cradle my head. L is for Lola, who loves me the most. She is my grandmother. She comforts me when I fall. M is for Medjas. Pulled snugly over my toes. I have green ones and white ones and a pair with rainbows. N is for Naku. Just like, oh no, you exclaim if you broke something precious or lost in a game. O is for Hospital, where my sister was born. I brought her a new toy, a bright yellow unicorn. P is for pancit, or noodles, my favorite dish. It's nice with pork, beef, or chicken, but please not with fish. Q is for Quezon, president during the Second World War. Overlooking Quezon City is a monument to him, therefore. R is for relo, a timepiece of any kind. So we're always on schedule and never run behind. S is for salamat. That's what we say when we are grateful is the polite way. T is for tahimik. Shh, quiet, mama says to me while praying in church or reading in the library. U is for umaga, the end of the night, when mama kisses me good morning and dark becomes light. V is for vegan, an old northern town with Spanish style mansions and beautiful furniture renowned. W is for wala, meaning absent or none. When I wanted a cookie, Yaya said, 
Wala, not even one. X is for X-ray. Just like in the English we say, but in proper Tagalog, it's written E-K-S-R-Y-R-E-Y, -E X-ray. Y is for Yaya, my nanny, so sweet. She loves me like a mother with tenderness so complete. Z is for zipper, a word we hear every day. But in Tagalog, it's zipper, we say. 